So it's a catchy tune that can really get on your nerves. In fact, listening to the song Baby Shark can feel like a punishment, right? Well, two Oklahoma Detention Center officers thought so, so they reportedly used the Baby Shark song to punish inmates. Investigators found out they played the song on repeat to make the inmates suffer and their ears bleed. Uh, they compared the allegations to torture at Guantanamo Bay. Well, that's a little absurd. Uh, that's not waterboarding or A little anything. absurd. Yeah. The officers were suspended. They all either quit oh. or resigned since then. And apparently, I'm reading that they are now facing cruelty wow. charges. Oh boy, this is getting too serious. I wonder how long they actually played this for. Like, how many hours? Five minutes is probably torture. It's probably the definition just, of torture. I don't know. That's a very good question. Because but I think, think about it. Like, you saying five minutes is torture? I, Imagine uh, yeah. for hours and hours yeah. no I think the makers of this song should be held accountable <laughs> <laughs> it's all of a sudden their fault for the terror they are inflicting right, on right. the world mm. anyway well the cat's out of the bag or well in this case almost out of the car an hour is unsafe to begin with and then like go and roll up the window roll the window up it's unsafe to begin with and then like This is why you have to be like me and train your cats oh. at an early age. Anyway, that trooper was in the middle of a traffic stop last month yeah. when a cat in the car decided to jump out the open window. Thanks to the trooper's cat-like reflexes, he was able to catch the feline before it could escape mm. onto the freeway. Trying the old kitty cat distraction method to get out of that ticket. <laughs> yeah. That was a really good catch. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, awesome. those cats are they're something, aren't mm. they? Hey, remember this guy? Let's see him. There he is, Nathan Apodaca. He went viral on TikTok recently. I think he's pretty popular there anyway. He was riding a longboard while listening to Fleetwood Mac's Dreams and drinking some cranberry juice. He says he was on the way to work and he was gonna drive, but then his car broke down. So then he's like, hey, I'm gonna take this longboard and sip my juice, you know what I'm saying? Yesterday, he was visited by a representative with Ocean Spray who gave him a new ride, a truck, look at that. And then inside the truck, full of bottles of Ocean Spray cranberry Right, juice. so he got the truck and the Ocean Spray? Yes. Oh. Wow. Cool so more, no more longboarding for him. He's just gonna be like cruising in that truck, drinking his Ocean Spray now. We haven't, have you seen people remaking this? I think the best one I've seen so far far is a man with a giant pumpkin head mm. in a pumpkin sweater drinking a pumpkin spice latte on a longboard <laughs> and then jumps the PS. It's like it's the most basic thing you've ever yeah. seen, but it's amazing. I got to see this. Jenny, thank you so much. You're welcome. Still ahead. We had another story. No, did you guys kill it? Nobody told me. That's okay. Uh, there was uh, another story, but uh, yeah. I don't need to know these things. Now he's got a lifetime of cranberry <laughs> juice know. for all his hard work. Which is really good for women, you know. Yeah, that's well, I was just yeah. thinking that, Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Might be good for his wife.